Hello, my name is Gabriel from Gava USA. In this video, I'll teach you how to calibrate an old TV or an old monitor. So if you're thinking why in 2015 you want to lose this, such a thing, well, maybe you want to know a little bit more about this old technology or maybe you have a super monitor or a super TV that you want to keep for a little bit uh, longer so here I'll teach you how to fix it if it doesn't have any issue with electronic so with the logic board so if you have to fix the focus or the brightness those two things I'll teach you how to do that so first of all I'll teach you a little bit of theory here in the whiteboard and then we are going to jump in in the monitor and the TV so you can see how both works so first of all I'll teach you a little bit how it works so what you have to think about it is this here you have the tube and in this tube you have three main components one is the electron gun that is over here and then you have the deflection system that is over here and you have the fluorescent screen that is this part so in this port, this uh, port of the glass is very wide and when you're arriving or when you're touching this part it is very thin so you have to be very careful when you handle it from this part because you may break it so if you hit it here a little bit you'll knock it you won't have any issue but here that would be a big issue big problem so what you have to think is this here you have a cathode that is the electron uh, gun and it will shoot the electrons to the tube, to these ports. So this port, the reflection system, what it does is take the electron and move it up and down and left to right. So when it moves the electron very fast, like from left to right, and it goes going down, down and up, and it's very, it's very fast, it will um, draw the picture if that is what you see but because this little dot is moving so fast that is how it makes the the picture in white and black and white you have just one electron gun and in color you have three so but that is the the basic what i'm i'm going to teach you here so if there is something wrong with this um, deflection system is like a electromagnet that moves the electron you will see just one dot on the screen and um, usually this part it doesn't get broken so when something like that happens usually it's a problem with the electronics so if you have something like that because this kind of tv or, or monitor are so cheap it's not worth it to fix it but if you want to fix it that is uh, where you're going to find the, the issue another thing that you have to to think about it is if you have some problem with the monitor that you may see or oh, the monitor or the TV you have maybe some distortion of the colors or something like that what you can get is a big man magnet and then try to push the colors to the edge and that way you will fix the, the issue <laughs> that is one little trick so if you have the tube here over, over time you, you will see that the image gets darker and darker and darker so what you're going to find inside of the monitor or the TV is something called flyback. It's a high voltage transformer that you're going to see here. And from here, you will see a cable that goes here. So uh, I'll draw it in red, so you, you see. So usually in all the, all the monitors and TVs, the cable is red. So try not to touch it before taking apart the monitor or anything like that. Make sure that you know what you're doing or be very careful because it, it may kill you. But if you don't know what you're doing or if you're a little kid or whatever, try to get advice from an electrician, someone who knows what he's doing. So be, be very cautious about these kind of things. So another thing that I will tell you is here, you will, you will see two preset. One will say screen, and the other one you will see that says focus. So, if you have some issue with the image, that the image is is blurry or something like that, what you have to do is 
grab a screwdriver like I'm going to show you and then you start moving it from one side to the other side until you see that the image is perfect. Once it's perfect, just leave it like that. Don't worry, don't touch anything else. And if you see that the image is, is kind of dark or you need a little bit more brightness and even with the remote control or with the buttons of the front panel, you cannot do anything else. Um, you can touch uh, this uh, this uh, preset that says screen. If you go, just move it a little bit and you will see that you will see more brightness. The thing with this is if you do too much, you will start seeing like one lines, I mean few lines on top of it. So if you do, if you see that, move it to the other side to make it a little bit darker and then that way it will look good. So that is one trick. Another thing that you may find interesting is if you have some issue with the monitor that you may see some color that is more the image is more red or greener or bluer or something like that what you can do is try to find sometimes in this part there is electronic so in the electronic there are usually three presets one for each color for red green and blue or sometimes it might be in the electronic that is below the tube. So sometimes it's the same thing is here. And other times, if you don't have any of those things, what you can do, it might be a problem with electronics. So if it is more than that, more than adjusting the presser, like I said before, because these kind of TVs or monitors are so cheap, it's not convenient to do anything with them, just throw them away and buy a new one. Well, if you want to do any experiment or something like that, that is what you have to do. Another thing, if you have, want to have fun or whatever, and you grab this electromagnet, you can move it from one side to the other, and you will see that image. You are going to do that in this in this video now, where when we are going into the practice, or if you invert the cable, you will see that the image uh, will be like a mirror. So you will see in the other side, like inverse, you will invert the, the image. So that is one thing, depending on what you want to do. <laughs> so this is what you're going to find inside of the TV. Uh, usually there are capacitors. So in those, in those capacitors, if you're going to touch something electronic, try to use maybe a light bulb to discharge them, to uh, touch the negative and the positive, or you can use a screwdriver or something like that to make like a short circuit and then that way it, the capacitor will discharge. If you're going to talk, uh, touch something, uh, try to be very, caref uh, be, be very careful, use gloves or some uh, good uh, um, screwdriver or something like that that will be will have some insulation or something like, like that I don't want you to get electrocuted because something like that so I, I want to repeat myself in these kind of things because it might be very dangerous uh, usually this kind of flyback it might have like 10,000 volt or even 20,000 so that is a lot of volts so when you if you have to remove something like that you might have a lot of electricity if all the tube is in vacuum so that is how the electrons uh, travels inside of the tube. Otherwise, it won't be able to, to work that way. So that is the little um, lesson that I'm going to teach you now. Now we are going to jump in in the practice. Uh, and if you like this video, remember, click on like, subscribe to my channel. And if you have any question about it, just let me know in the question in the comment uh, box in the section below. I'm going to be explaining to you how is the anatomy of the monitor inside. So basically what you see here is the tube, this here T tube. Uh, here you have some uh, sticker uh, that you will see that it says all the dangerous things that the monitor can do for you. So now we're going to move it a little bit and I'm going to show you the tube a little bit. I'm going to teach you or explain you a little story. Uh, when I was 15 years old I bought a monitor HP and I told them well I need a monitor and can you tell me if the 
the tube inside what brand is it and the seller say yeah no problem i can tell you and this guy told me yeah the monitor is uh, the tube is hp so after a, a week a week when i bought it uh, i took it apart and i saw inside of the monitor and realized that the tube was another brand uh like samsung so it was quite disappointed so that is what you have to know when you buy something like that but that is a little story so as you can see here is the um, the model as you can see and we can see the the brand so this is the zoom i made so you can see better here there is some a uh, warning it says x uh x-ray warning and when the picture the when the picture tubes are operated at very high voltage when the personal uh, uh, can be exposure to prolong uh it might be dangerous basically that is what it says so try not to touch it when you're opening this kind of uh, monitor so if you are going to use the um, screwdriver try to put some electric tape so that way you can isolate it from any other thing so try to read everything it says on the label so that way you can be safe when you operate or when you try to fix something like that so remember when it was in the old days when people tried to use this kind of monitor people i mean the, their eyes got uh, tired very easy because all these x-rays and all those things that are bad so in this case the the tube if you break it they, they are very delicate instead of exploding they're imploding so because it ha there is a vacuum inside so that is a thing that you have to make sure and uh, in the front as i'm showing you uh, is the thicker uh, part of the glass uh on the back is all the thinnest one as i'm showing you right now this is the thinnest and uh, if you hit it just a little bit you may break it so in the front is more resistant to any damage or any uh, hit that you may encounter here as uh, you can see you have a, s a screw so if you want to remove the deflecting coils or if you want to remove it you can do that uh, so when you unscrew this uh, screw or if you move the deflector coils what you're going to find is that you can move the image or if you have as you can see here also if you have some issue with the um, electronic component you will see just a straight light so that is what it makes the uh, coil the deflecting coil another thing that uh, you see the red um, cable that you can see here here you will get uh, like a lot of voltage like 10,000 volts so that is very dangerous so if you have to try to remove that turn off the the TV or the monitor and um, be very careful with that because it has a lot of uh, power and as you can see here this little uh, block of black uh, you can see here is called flyback so it is a high voltage transformer so if you have to replace or you have to fix it or you have to replace or do something like that so make sure that you won't have any issue here in this side you have two things uh two adjustment so if you move the um, the focus and the brightness so if you are going to do something like that try to use a, a screwdriver that may have some kind of um, insulation or like a electric tape or whatever another thing that you have to think is if you s see this uh, piece of metal 
in this uh, part is usually to avoid in interference also if you remove that you can uh, find in some models like some preset to remove the uh, to move the um, the color to set the colors or brightness or any other thing so but basically as i told you before in the high voltage transformer uh, called flyback you will have the focus on the brightness as i told you before Once we have the monitor that is on, as you can see here, we have to uh, see the preset, the one that says uh, focus and the other one that says screen. So if you have a monitor that is out of focus, the only thing you have to do is to move the preset uh, you have to move it from one side and to the other one until you see that it looks fine and looks uh, is in good uh, shape. Like it has a, once you see that you like what you have done, uh, you leave it like that. If you move it more from one side or to the other one, uh, to the other side, you will see that it will get out of range and you will see the image not that, not, not that good so once you you have a, a see that it has the nice image just leave it like that another thing if you have a problem with the brightness where we are going to move the preset we have to move it from one side to the other one so if you we increase the brightness you will see the the um, image we're go going to be washed and you will see some lines as you can see that uh, those lines uh, doesn't have to appear or doesn't have to be seen so I'm exaggerating right now I'm giving more brightness than it really need it's just so you can see the flow of what you can do so uh always you have to make sure that that you can reach the maximum point without uh, seeing those lines and um, that the image now we will be now very washed so before doing a, any other thing what you have to do is this you have to uh, put the monitor set the monitor in very low um, contrast and uh, brightness and once you have done uh, that you can start uh, tuning in the the brightness so now you can see the uh, the images is very dark that is the ideal so if i increase the image a lot you will see the lines and if i go in all, all the way to the other side you will see that it will be dark so if i put the uh, brightness to the maximum you 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 will not see those lines so that is very important so you will see that the image is kind of wash up is because the contrast is on minimum so if we put the contrast on 30 percent 40 percent it will be okay if you put more than that it will damage your eyes or it will get uh, it will tire your eyes so try not to use the uh, monitor with a lot of brightness otherwise you will have uh, those issues so try to use the brightness in 60 percent or 70 percent and see the life of the tube if it is very wear out uh, if you leave it in 100 percent all the time you will see uh, uh, that the image will be like very kind of dark so because they they use it like that for many years so when you see the monitor has that kind of problem what you can do is uh, increase the brightness with the preset as i showed you before 
and if you have some issues with the colors in this case the monitor has very nice uh, colors but uh, some monitors may have some preset so you can uh, regulate the um, the colors of each one S so now that we have the brightness and the focus uh, solved now we are going to do the this thing so like i said before this uh, monitor didn't have any issue with the, any problem with the, any colors or anything like that so it's all for all because uh, we're making this video so i can teach you how the things it works so sometimes if the tube is very um, weary or it has any other uh, things like that or problem with electronic uh, you are not going to be able to fix it just with the preset you will have to fix the preset uh, so like I said before if there is some issue like that uh, it would be complicated so in this case or our, our, the thing that we can do is in case to fix the problem with the colors or the or the brightness is if the the electronic logic board is in good uh, in good condition otherwise if if you have some problem like that you're not going to be able to fix it with the preset by itself so now uh, we see one process but it has some glue so we're going to use some kind of cutter uh, we are going to try to uh, remove the um, the glue without breaking anything of course so be a little patient and we're going to try to remove it So once we have uh, removed all the glue, now we we can uh, regulate or we can change the preset. So also, if you have a little uh, plier, you can a tweezer, you can uh, re uh, remove the the glue. Also, they 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 use this kind of glue, so it will not uh, move over time and that way that will be fixed okay now we are going to see the tv the brand is uh sancho as you can see here and we are going to play with it uh, this monitor has i mean this tv doesn't have any issue so we're going to make some tests so that that way you can see how it works so i'm going to tell you i'm going to describe a little bit um, the, the anatomy of the tv so in this case we don't have any um, metals so that cover anything like in the monitor so in this case uh now what i'm showing you is the tube like i said before uh just in the and the front is the uh, thicker uh, part so in this part is the thinnest one the, the one i show you and when you see that there is a a little uh, light over there is uh, the um, cathode so that is the control grid and the heater so if there is a some problem with electronic you will see that uh, if that it will be on if there is some problem with the with that and you don't see anything like that you're not going to be able to fix it if the uh, cathode is is broken for some reason because maybe it has more uh, current that it needs it, it will get burned out so in this uh, side we have the tube uh, like I'm showing you, the brand is a uh, generic, is unknown brand. Um, what you can see here is the deflecting coils, like I showed you before. So we have the electrons that we um, we're going to have 
uh, shooting is the um, uh, electron gun so if we don't have the um, coil and you will see like a little dot just in the in the middle or if there is some problem with the electronic you will see like a horizontal a line and if you see something like that you will have some problem with the electronics so i show you i am showing you right now you see the um, uh, flyback uh, hold voltage transformer so in this case uh, there is no protection or nothing so as you can see this kind of uh, uh, monitor uh, i mean this tv doesn't have any uh, metal uh, so protect uh, the interference so it doesn't have anything so now i'm trying to show you right now the focus and the uh, screen so if you have to move the preset so that way you can move the the brightness and the focus like i said before now what i'm showing you right now uh, you will see the the tune so sometimes if it gets broken uh sometimes you can solder it or another times you have to replace the whole thing so that is where the channels are changed and in this case uh we have the flyback uh, there is uh, a problem with the flyback uh, that it gets, it gets wear or something like that. You will see like an arch of electricity that will jump from one side to another one. So if you see something like that, you can replace and put a new one. Or if you have a, maybe a, a pro professional monitor or something like that, you can uh, do some... A replacement with a new one or use one maybe uh, make sure that uh, the monitor the monitor of the TV will be disconnected and make sure that any um, uh, capacitor uh, will not be charged so you can use a little a light bulb if you want to make sure that there is no a problem uh, I mean if there is no charge with the with the capacitors and other things so also make sure that don't touch the red cable that will um, have <coughs> a lot of electricity so now I'm, I'm going to talk to touch the focus so that way you're going to see how the image get worse and now it's out of focus and now we are going to move from one side to the other one and you will see that the number three you cannot see it and the face is all blurry and now it's in the middle as you can see it looks great and it's perfect so we're going to leave it like that so in this case if there is a problem with the brightness like i showed you before you see the lines remember try to uh, leave it in the right position if you move it to the other side it will be dark all the way and if I leave it in the middle it will be just fine uh, like I'm showing you right now so this is uh, just a demo because the TV doesn't have any issue but if you have any problem like that you can do that now uh, we are going to try to move the <laughs> deflecting coils so as you can see the image is crooked uh, now moving the coil and you will see how the image is moved so if you um, move it from one side to another you can move the the image and uh, if you if you think well what is this for what you can do is try to uh, use it for <laughs> experiment maybe or if you think that there is a problem you know that moving that you can fix uh, issue that also it, maybe if you have to invert the image if you invert the uh, the cables as you can see here there are four cables uh, one for the vertical another for the horizontal so if you invert the image 
I mean, if you invert the cables, you will invert the image. So if you want to see like in a mirror um, way, I mean, so there are few things that depend of the things that you have to do. You can experiment with this kind of things. So if you have to do like a special function, you can do something like that doing what I'm showing you right now. So now, as you can see, uh, we are illuminating the cathode. As you can see, like I, sh I'm sh I told you before, uh, now I'm using my cell phone, uh, the flashlight, so you can see the um, everything. Now I'm going to turn off the cell phone. Um, as now you will see the cathode. So that little light, like I, I said before, is where the, all the electrons uh, are made. And, and using a special uh, technique, that, uh, that way you can create the image. So now I turn off the light of the bedroom. Uh, now you can see the, the light. Uh, the heat. <laughs> so if you are thinking, well, how does it produce heat? Well, that is how it makes the heat. Uh, 